to the doggy vlog. Oh, 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 oh. Huh? 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 Nothing? Hey, is this a doggy cam? Is this the doggy cam? Aww, he's so cute. You're so cute, mister. Oh. You're so cute, mister. And boop. And boop. What is she doing? She making all these noises. Hey, doggy. It's the doggy cat. His nose, his nose. He is the cutest little pupper. Thank you, puppy. Thank you, puppy. You know you're cute, eh? What is she cooking? So obviously in the first couple of weeks that you have your puppy, you can't really take them out into the big wide world because they're not vaccinated yet. So I started all of Whiskey's training work in the back garden and one of the first things I wanted to train was a simple attention cue. So what I was doing was making a little kissy noise or saying his name and just clicking and reinforcing every single... The next thing we moved on to was getting him used to his crate. Uh, we really wanted the crate to be a positive space. So in the beginning, I just started off throwing food into the crate and clicking every time he willingly went in by himself. Also in his downtime, we just left his toys in there. We would play with him in there. We put his food in there, just anything and everything that we could do to make the crate as positive as possible. And what we found in the end was that he would frequently just go in there by himself to take a nap or he would take his toys in there and play with them by himself. He also picked up sit very, very quickly. This seemed to be his kind of natural stance whenever he was interested in something or whenever he was um, trying to figure something out. So I just very quickly added that onto a sit cue and he got it pretty fast. Once he was pretty comfortable being in the crate by himself, I started opening and closing the door just to make sure that he was pretty desensitized to the noise of the, the kind of the metal and also opening and closing it so that he wasn't having any negative associations with that. This little dude's pretty food motivated, so he wasn't really bothered by it. As long as there was food involved, that was taking up pretty much all of his focus. And then I gradually just built up the duration of keeping the door closed. Um, we actually have a snuffle mat for him, so I would put his snuffle mat in there. It usually takes him about 10 minutes to get all of his kibble out of it. So I just left the door closed for the full 10 minutes and then opened it as I saw that he was just about finished. Um, the aim was never for him to try to get out himself. This was me progressing to having him really pay attention to me opening and closing the door of the crate um, and just kind of being patient with me without there being food in there to distract him. So I was asking him for a sit inside the crate. He was just watching me and then closing the crate door and then reinforcing him after he was calm while the crate was closed. You also might notice that there is a bed in the crate here. Uh, we've actually removed the bed because he was having some accidents on it and basically trying to tear it to pieces. But he was doing really, really well with this. And within about a week and a half of him being with us, he was able to sleep the whole night in his crate by himself. Now, even before your puppy can actually go out walks, it's very important to get them used to the harness. Now, Whiskey was born on a farm, so he had never even worn a collar before he came to us, so he really was not used to it. 
so I did spend a good amount of time just simply getting him used to putting his head in the harness voluntarily. So all I did was I had my clicker and the harness in one hand and I had the treat in the other and every time that he went and put his head through the harness um, I clicked and gave him the little treat. And then I just built it up so I would hold the treat further and further through the harness so the harness was more and more over his head. You can see here that he now has the harness completely on although it is not clipped. Um, and I'm just slowly feeding him so that it's a positive experience and then I would take it off of him before um, he had the chance to try and chew on it or try and bite it off. Eventually, once he was very, very good with this, I actually started leaving the harness on him for the whole day just so that he would get used to it. So I would do some play sessions with him with the harness on. Um, he could have a snuffle mat while he had the harness on. Just anything that I could to make the harness something positive and also kind of take his mind off of the fact that he was wearing it. You might also notice that this is now a different harness. The first harness that we ordered was far too small for him. <laughs> and then reaching over and trying to clip it and make sure he's not... Oh, he's kind of looking, but <laughs> he did pretty well. Then once the harness is on, I moved on to getting him used to leash pressure. This is actually the thing that he found the most aversive and we actually had to work really, really hard to get him used to the leash pressure. So what I did was a lot of sessions in the garden of giving the barest hint of leash pressure, asking a come on and also giving him a treat when he decided to move with me. Um, he was pulling back an awful lot so I did have to use some treat lures but my aim was always for him to not find leash pressure aversive um, and never ever yanking him. This is actually also why we decided to use a harness. You know puppies joints and bones and everything like that are not fully formed so they have very fragile necks. Um, so it's usually advised to use a harness instead of a collar. Um, but even if he wanted to stop or sniff or if he was looking a bit overwhelmed, I would just stop with him and wait until he was ready and then I would give the cue for him to walk on again. And recall. This is probably the thing Whiskey is the best at, which I am very, very happy about. It was definitely one of my biggest focus points for his early training. Um, recall is arguably the most important thing that you need with your dog um, and you've got to practice it and you've got to make it the most reinforcing thing possible so I would just take large amounts of reinforcement um, the cue word was come and we would have one of us inside the house one of us outside the house and we would just practice calling him to us we would use his kibble we would use toys we would use rub downs just anything to make it as fun and as exciting as possible and what we saw was that his recall just got better and better and faster and faster um, and that's definitely my criteria for a recall is to come to me directly as quickly as possible as important as training is and i know i was definitely very kind of overwhelmed by the idea of oh my god there's so much of this foundation of training i want to get into him it's also really important to bond with your puppy because you know, especially in that first week, your home is completely new to him, you are new to him, so you want to establish yourself as a person that your puppy can trust. Um, so we definitely spent a lot of time just giving him cuddles and giving him love and just, you know, trying to make sure he felt as safe and happy in our home as, um, as he possibly could. Hello, Editing Hazel here. Thank you guys so much for watching this little vlog. It's a very different style for my channel, um, but if you guys enjoyed it and if you want to see a continuation, you know, what Whiskey has learned in his second week or his third week or his first month or whatever it is, if you guys are interested in seeing that progression, I would love to share it with you. If there are specific training tips that you would like, I know I'm not a dog trainer, but I have been an animal trainer for the last eight years. Um, so I can kind of share what we learn as we go. Um, but yeah, as always guys, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe below if you want to see some more. 
leave a comment and let me know what you would like to see and I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye!